This is a great example of how we can best narrow our focus to the right information for the sentence, right? So, or for the, for the question. So, the question gives me an instruction that I need to follow. Which choice best supports the statement made in the previous sentence? So, there's a whole passage here. But the question is specifically telling me to look back one sentence and nothing more. So, I take them at their word here. They're not going to lie in the instructions. So, just read that one sentence. Narrow your focus to that because that is what we need to answer on. And so now we can start to think about dumb summaries. What is this sentence about? What seems to be the main uh, words in, these, in this sentence? Employees who feel less than 100% and are sleep deprived are also less prone to work at their maximal productivity. So it's about productivity and sleep. Okay, one company in California gained a huge boost in its employees' morale. Well, that's not about productivity. Um, when it moved from an artificially lit distribution facility to one with natural illumination. So, okay, the light thing, I guess, has to do with sleep, but there's nothing about morale in the sentence that I'm told to look at, so that's no good. Uh, in B, the one company in California saw a 5% increase in productivity. That seems pretty good. Let's keep going. They saved a great deal on their operational costs. Nope, that wasn't in the sentence. They invested large amounts of time and capital. Nope, not in the sentence. The Word productivity is where they tell us to look and in the correct answer choice, that's it. Don't, don't do any more work. You're done with this question and that is why dumb summaries and narrowing your focus are so helpful. They filter out the noise and let us focus on the things that matter most.